This is code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 14, Project Interactive Card, Part 4. Do we have any code? I want to see if there's anything here to run. Oop, not yet. Did they give us animations? Oh, okay. Sorry, I like checking stuff out. Alright, let's see. Laying out your background. Before beginning this project, you should have already completed the interactive card planning activity and you'll have and you'll want to have the paper with you as you develop your program, right? So your teacher should have given you a worksheet. It sounds boring. It is not bad uh, because you should have already done it. Um, I liked it. I think my students thought it was fine. And you developed a plan for your card. So preparation is one of the most important successes to creating a program and anything in life. All right, let's see here. Do this. Refer to your planning activity sheet to help you lay out the shapes that will become the back the background of your card. First, figure out the lowest layer in your image. Uh, the lowest layer in your images. Figure out what it is. This should use the background block and add it to the very top of the draw loop. I'm gonna pause right there and do that. Okay. So, ooh, what's this? This icon means that this level is part of a larger project. Changes will be saved across project. Okay, great. Hit X. So they already provided us our draw loop. Let's see if I can shrink that a bit. Yep, they already provided us our draw loop. And we want, you should use the background block to add it. So let's find the background block. I think it's in world, where is it? Oh, maybe it's drawing then? Yep, background. And so my background has a blue sky. So I'm gonna try light blue maybe, and we'll see if this works. I'm gonna hit run. Yeah, so, uh, so far so good. Let's go ahead and shrink this. My next step, next layer each additional drawing block in order you want them to appear in the stack. Next layer each additional drawing block in the order you want them to appear. All right, so my next layer is going to be, I'm going to shrink this up. For me, and remember, as the computer runs your code, the thing at the top is what is run first. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to draw, I need a rectangle. Yep, and I'm going to drop it there. And then let's test out this size. Oh, I need a fill though. The fill for my rectangle is going to be... Uh, is it not there? Okay, let's test this out. Ooh, that is not where I want it. So I want it down here. I'm going to use my grid. I need it. What is that? Y is 300. So I want it to start at 0 for X, 300. Okay. So my rectangle, this is the, if you ever forget, X, Y, width, height. 0, Y, I want it to start at um, 300. And then the size, the height, I'm going to want it to be Oh, should I start it at 0, 400 then? And I think the height... And this is going to be experimenting. The great thing is you can be wrong 100 times. Well, that's obviously not what I wanted. Let's try this. Okay, so that's a start. Except instead of 200, I want it all the way across. So 400. Is that not the width? Rectangle zero, three hundred. Where does it tell me this stuff? Rectangle height. Oh, so the end of it's the height. So I'm gonna flip these. It must have gone all the way down here somewhere. There we are. And then I want. Mm, I'm gonna get rid of my grid. I don't want this outline. So I'm gonna do no stroke as well and remember you need to tell it these colors and these commands before you ask it to draw the rectangle because if i had rectangle first it doesn't the computer says okay light blue background draw a rectangle so it would just be gray you have to say no 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 light blue background now draw a white rectangle without an outline and then draw the rectangle so also if i flip this around and put the background beneath it the computer does exactly what we tell it so the computer does a fill white, no stroke rectangle, and then a blue background over top of it. It does it in that order. OK, 
Okay, so that is my start. What else? Next, the layer each additional drawing block in order you want them to appear in the stack. Okay, and then I had one more thing on the background, and that is an ellipse. Up oh, there it is, and uh, it does have a fill color. It was going to be yellow. Let's test out. I think that's going to be huge. Yes, that's my sun, and that is a mint. Show me this grid. I'm going to have the sun way up here, so at... 350 and 50 it looks like because the remember a rectangle you want the top left coordinate because it starts drawing it from here an ellipse it starts from the center so 350 and 50 and then the for the ellipse the width is going to be i don't know 50 uh let's say 50 50 i'm going to try that reset run uh oh what did i do wrong fill yellow ellipse oh 500 is not on the, whoops, try that again. Um, uh, I might want it a little bit larger for a sun. Let me hit run. Yep, that's looking good so far. All right. Change the, chain, uh, finally add a comment to the top of this section of your code to describe what it does. And if you have any particular complicated chunks of code, Okay, so, and it's always good to have comments, like actually in computer science classes in college and in the real world, you're going to need them. It helps other programmers know what you're doing and remind you what you were working on. Um, creates a snow, a scene of snow with sun shining. Okay. That will be good for my comment. What do they have for the challenge? Ooh, I could change the size of my son with random. That asks, oh, the ran can you use the variable of random to change some subtle animation to your background layer? Maybe we can uh, have the son's size change up just a little bit. Hmm. Let's do the properties. Uh, nope. Nope. Where is the ellipse? So I could change this. Okay. I'm going to use math. I need to make a variable for this though. So v var. So the random number is assigned so we don't get an oval. Um, and then I need var. Uh, Var equals is actually what I want. Get rid of this guy. I'm going to use. Yeah. So math, I want 60 plus, and then my random number. Or you know what? Maybe I only want 50. My random number is going to be between 10 and 20. Or 0 and 20. So the sun size could then be anywhere from 50 to 70. And then I'm not going to call it X. I'm going to call it um, sun size. So I don't forget. Uh, it's good to have variables that make sense. And I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to put it for both height and width. So it looks like a circle and not an ellipse. Sun size. Sun size. And up, oh, it's yelling at me, so obviously I did something wrong. Oh, I capitalized sun. Okay, and this is outside of our draw function. It's declared once at the beginning. Okay, and then whatever random number it is, we use it twice here and here. Let's see if mine works. Ooh, this sun's a bit bigger. And you can see it's changing size just a bit. If I wanted to make it more obvious, I could do even something like 30 and then 40 here. And we would really be able to tell. Cool. So I completed the challenge and that is my background. I hope your background is super awesome as well. And I'm going to keep going. Here's the code I use for my background.